Hi, you guys. I'm back with um, another prophetic word. <clears throat> this is um, Prophetic Alert Part 3 called Another Round. So what I will be explaining to you um, on this video is um, the things God has been showing me previously and things that he had me to revisit. Um, I always test the spirit by the spirit. I'm just the mouthpiece. I'm just the messenger and the prophetic voice to sound the alarm and deliver out of obedience. Um, the material that I will be reading is a prophetic collide. It consists of a word, poems, open visions, and dreams. Um, that is how God speaks to me. And that is his way of showing me things so I can be able to warn his people. I always test the spirit by the spirit and pray about whatever it is that I will be reading to you. And so I want to read what we, I'm going to read what he had me to revisit and then flow how the Holy Ghost leads me. Um, January the 17th, 2021. Um, that was a crazy day for me because everything was like back to back, back to back. Um, God gave me things in clusters. And so I really had to sit on what he gave me in January because I didn't want to release it too early. And I most definitely didn't want to um, release it without his permission. So what he showed me in the dream um, and part two of the dream, it says, I got shot up four times pretending I was dead. And when the men walked away, I got up and ran and got on a bus. Um, also, when I ran and got on the bus, I saw other kids laying on the ground that, that were shot, and, but they was only wounded. Um, and they survived. And then it was this girl. She asked me to um, help her go to the ER. And I'm like, I'm trying to, you know, uh, I done got shot. I'm trying to get to the ER myself. So I just dragged her on the bus with me. And when we got there, she ran the opposite way. And I was trying to get help because I had got shot four times. Um, I tried to go upstairs, but I couldn't make it. So I ran the other way as well. And the men that were shooting at us, they end up in the hospital. Um, so I started running and hide, and I couldn't find anywhere to go. And so I got on the elevator and they began to shoot in the elevator. And suddenly I floated to the, to the top of the elevator. They were shooting, but they wasn't able to shoot me. Um, anymore because I was at the top. Um, that same day, I heard the sound of quicksand. Then it changed to like a whistling wind. Um, I had another dream. I took a nap. And I had another dream the same day. And I was walking into church. I was going to a church service. And I 
I saw people sitting on the pews with sleepwear on. Sleepwear is pajamas. And you know, that's symbolic for, you know, going to bed and um, just laying around lazy and slothful. And January the 19th, 2021, I had an open vision. God showed me four snakes coming towards me. Then I heard the quicksand sound again. And, it's ch and it changed to the whistling wind. And I asked God, what does that sound mean? And if you heard me at the beginning, um, the title is Another Round. That's what he kept putting in my spirit. He kept saying, another round, another round, another round. So. What I'm going to read will be um, another round, which is part three of the prophetic alert. So, June 9th, 2021, I saw a cruise boat in a dream, and people was just scattered all over the boat, coughing and throwing up on each other and even throwing up in the war. I believe the coughing is symbolic for the virus and the sickness is also symbolic for the virus. Um, I truly don't believe that this virus is gone anywhere and I believe it is going to get worse. Um, I had three dreams about um, python snakes. Um, and python snakes, they suck the life out of you. Um, the third dream that I encountered, I saw a big one, it was wrapped around in connection from head to the tail. So I want to tell you, don't get caught up in the circle of Python or Pythons. Pay attention to the hiss. We are in a season where um, betrayal will be coming forth, the secret plotting. Um, and God wants you to be tuned in so you won't get bit. So you really want to pay attention to your surroundings. You really want to pay attention to your conversations. You really want to pay attention to how people move, watch their body language. Not what they saying, but their body language. You really want to be real cautious so you won't get, off, get caught off guard. And the inspired scripture you gave me was Luke 10 and 19. Um, June 8th, 2021, I saw a sink um, full of bottles, like drinking bottles. It was like a gallon, um, I want to say juice. It probably was soda. I don't know what it was, but that's what I saw in a dream. And um, whatever it was, um, chemicals was coming out of it. So even now, we have to pay attention to what we are drinking. Um, I just encourage you to um, just be careful even with the bottled waters because some, some of those waters are not not um, as pure as they need to be either. But um, 
just um pay attention to your drinks and make sure you open it and especially the um the pouches drinks i don't never drink out of those things um i don't even let my kids drink out of them. i cut them open because sometimes stuff can be in there and you don't know it or you don't know how long it, it has set so i always cut it up and pour the juice in the cup or something just to be safe so just be careful with um with what you drink and just pay attention to to it before you pick it up and open it because you know when we get thirsty we don't um we don't look at that stuff we just open it and drink it but um we just really need to pay attention to everything in this hour um my dream switched I saw bugs flying all over the sky and people was grinding. I mean, people was just going crazy. They was grinding and the bugs was sticking to them. And when the bugs were landing on them, it would destroy their skin. Their skin would get, um, bumpy and it will mess up their appearance it was just it was crazy but i believe we will experience some type of flu bug that's what i got out of it because um when we get sick um or get the flu or something um they call it the flu the flu bug so i believe just like i said earlier i believe the virus is going to get worse um i don't know how it's going to come about but make sure you take the vitamins that you need whatever you have to do to keep yourself healthy to keep your 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 family healthy and um Stay at home as much as you, as possible, as much as you can. Um, just to be safe and out the way. And he gave me for the inspired scripture, one King eight thirty seven through forty. And so um, May thirty. 2021 I heard a baby crying and then after the baby um after I heard that God allowed me to hear three gunshots and I said God um what does that mean he said more kids will die to senseless crimes it will be a massive organ trafficking from the killing of the children. So, parents, keep your eyes on your children. Don't let them roam anywhere. I don't care what age they are, but like I said before in one of my videos, um, human trafficking is real and they do kill kids and sell their organs. And we really have to pray and keep our kids covered. In fact, every night or every day, make it your assignment to um, anoint your kids and pray over them. I pray on my kids maybe three or four times a day and um, rub oil on them all the time, especially before they go to bed. Um, we really we really need to um, be serious in this hour and pray um, the scripture, Psalms 91, 
the shelter of protection over our whole family and over the children. I mean, children all over the world, not just our children, but other children um, as well. I really believe this summer is going to be crazy. I just, I feel it in my spirit that it's going gonna, it's gonna to be extremely, it's, it's going to be crazy. Um, June 4th, 2021, God gave me a dream and he gave me an acronym. Um, the act, I mean, the, the, um, did I say dream? I mean, open vision and an acronym. I saw a leader hand and the leader hand turned into a witch hand. And the third fingernail spelled the word evil in big, bold letters. And God gave me <clears throat> the acronym for evil that says eating and violating in the pulpit operating out of lust with dirty hands. Eating and violating in my house operating out of lust with dirty hands. Giving me the inspired scripture, Jeremiah 23, 25 and through 27 and also 32 through 40, which talks about false prophets, false teaching, false doctrine. Um, God is getting ready to expose and so he didn't give me too much with it but he did assist me to go and read my poem on my website in c3 called no mercy i wrote that poem january the 30th of 2020 that was um a year ago and i'm gonna read it that was my computer and the poem is called No Mercy. No mercy for the thieves. No mercy for the false teens. No mercy for the pretender. No mercy for the prophets of Baal. They turned my gospel into gossip. They turn my sanctuary into a desert of shame, doing ungodly things. I'm not amazed. I am angry. No mercy for the falseness of doubt. My word isn't coming out of their mouths. Everything that's being said is falling to the ground. No more mercy. No more tussling. No more pleading. I'm sweeping it all away like quicksand. No mercy for the division of the church. Using my words to get money, to get fame. Mm, 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 mm. What a shame. What a waste of my oil to only be mixed and polluted with the world foolish things. No mercy for the devil and his tactics tiptoeing in the church when no one knows a witch from a wolf, a wolf from a snake, a perverted Pope sliding across the pulpit, houseway. 
No mercy. No mercy. No mercy. I have tried to speak loudly, but no one hears me. The judgment is the day I will slay the wickedness who refuse to pray, who refuse to say, here I am, God. I have fallen short. I repent to you. No mercy, no mercy, no mercy. And he gave me also to add, I am the same. Put the whole armor of God on. Keep your eyes on me. I am who I am. The one and only true living God. Stay down below. It will be a great falling away. Don't you be in the number. Or you will have to come crashing down. Like the other ones. I'm crashing down the cities, the cities of rebellious people who refuse to hear my words that's spoken from my mouthpiece. Keep my commandments. Judgment day will happen get in position preparation and prayer you don't have time to waste give your life to christ god is coming back sooner than we think and so that is all um, I pray that you take heed to this word and I hope something grab your attention. Um, as I said earlier, I always test the spirit by the spirit. And when God releases me again, I'll be sure to deliver how he sees fit. Grace and peace to you all. Blessings to you. Um, get yourself in preparation make sure you are stored up on foods have your emergency emergency kits um, make sure you have everything that you need storehouse prepare stock share <clears throat> storehouse prepare stock and share and so um that is it and i love you all <clears throat> keep me in prayer and i will um also keep you in prayer goodbye